loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, I mentioned to you in my previous video that I was going to be doing a wall art for the sort of stairwell. If you've been following me for a while, you have seen the whole how I had done the stairwell previously. I had done this whole wall art with different baskets and just things that I had DIY'd. And I loved it then. It was a little bit more boho, but you know, I'm changing up my whole style of my house. So I wanted to revamp that area. It was not fitting. It wasn't cohesive with the rest of the house. And it was just a lot. I'm a little bit more into the simplicity. As much as I still love my more is more, I mean, every little cranny and crack in my house has some sort of decoration, but I did want to simplify it. And I thought that that was a lot of stuff going on on the wall and I was a little bit over it. It was time for a little change. So I end up doing this wall art. I wanted to keep it simple. So for those of you who love the more is more, I'm not sure this wall art is for you but I am so happy how it turned out. I wanted something to obviously be a little bit more ethnic and I feel it has this sort of Japanese-y feel to it. I wasn't going in that direction, but it ended up looking a little bit, I would say a little bit more Japanese and I love it. I love the texture. I also added some rope. At the end, there was something that was missing and I wanted a little bit more dimension. And so I drilled holes and then I passed rope through it and I think it finished it off perfectly. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But before we get into the whole video, this is a long time that I've been waiting and working on this and they are new pieces from Koakaya. They are these beautiful necklaces. Right now I am wearing three of them, but I have so many other necklaces and I am obsessed with them. I want to keep them all. They are just so beautiful. You can wear them separately. You can wear them all together. Like right now I stacked three pieces together and it creates this beautiful statement necklace. I just stack them on, but you can totally buy them separately. You can wear them maybe in pairs. I love the rule of three. So to me, three necklaces. And sometimes I go a little bit more crazy and I'll bring some that go a bit longer as well. But I am so proud. I have a bit of a limited stock so for those of you who want I would suggest for you guys to go and go get them right away because I am a bit limited but I will keep on re-getting new pieces when you go on the website you're going to be seeing the necklaces individually so they're sold individually but if you go into the necklaces you will see that I created my own stack so if you want to wear necklaces like me then go down look at the images i created all of the stack and at the bottom there'll be all the links to the necklaces sort of like how katsu would stack her necklaces i hope you love them as much as i do they're just so beautiful they have this whole turkish feel they are hypoallergenic so if you're allergic to silver and all of the metals so that's a great thing because i have super sensitive skin and i react to any necklaces or jewelry that i wear if you guys are interested i will leave the link down below i am putting them live as the video goes up and I hope you love them. I have different styles. I have different lengths, different looks. Oh, and I have some gold ones. I have two gold ones. I love to mix my metals. So I wanted to add some gold ones. So if you want to wear it all silver, you can wear all silver, but I also have two gold ones. I have a choker and then I have this sort of like, it looks like a little tooth and I find it looks so beautiful mixing the metals and with the silver necklaces, it adds a little bit of that dimension. If you don't like chokers, then there's longer ones. So there are necklaces for everybody. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the video. Enjoy! This is exactly where I want to create the wall art. I'm over this look of it and I want to take those down, create another wall art. The ceilings are so high in this stairwell that I really need a huge, huge canvas. And I think it's going to clean it up a little bit. This is fine here in the corner. I might change that up but I really do want to change this area here. I loved it for a little while, but now it's time to change. Like I'm changing everything and I just want everything to be a little bit more cohesive. So we are going to go ahead and take all of these down. I'm also going to go to the store and try to find a big enough canvas for this space. Actually, before I take them down, we're going to go first to the store, see if it's even something possible or am I gonna have to create my own, put two canvases together or just use one canvas? I'm gonna go check at the store and see if it's even possible, but I would ultimately like one of them and not two. So we're gonna go to the store and we are going to find a canvas.
canvases and the only problem I would say is that they're a little bit more narrow and the reason why I'm going narrow is because it has to fit in my car or else it won't fit. So I would have liked something a little bit thicker. There's 48 by 72, which is much bigger, but that will definitely not fit in the car. So right now I'm looking at the 30, actually the 40 by 72. And these are the only heights that they have as well. So I'm not sure I'm assessing things right now. We found a much bigger one. I mean, this is huge. I would say how many feet? This is 48 by 96. So this is so good. But again, the problem is how the heck are we going to bring this home? So right now we're thinking of maybe just putting it on top of the car and just driving with it and then hopefully making it home safely. We didn't end up getting the canvases and here's why. First of all, it was $300. So that was a little bit out of my budget. And I know canvases are worth it and I know that they're expensive, but I came up with a more budget friendly. So we're now at Home Depot and I'm about to head in. I'm not sure if you guys saw in my last DIY for the wall art, I had bought this huge thing of foam. So we're gonna go in and get that and then I'm gonna get wood and I'm going to cover it up anyway with paint and spackle and all of that stuff. So we won't really see that it's a canvas. So not just a head rack. <laughs> I think that that's my solution. If not, and it doesn't come out the way I plan it in my head, I'm not gonna have any choice to go back to the other store. But if I do, then it's a lot less money. That sort of foam thing is about, I think $20. And then I'm gonna get the wood around it to create the wood frame that I normally love to do. I just think it finishes off any canvas. It makes it look more luxurious and expensive. So anyway, we're gonna head in there. I'm gonna film a little bit for you. So let's go into Home Depot. It's become like my second home right now. So here it is. I mean, how good is that? It's huge. It's the same size as the other canvas. I might maybe get the thicker one because it's a little bit less wobbly, which is better. And look at the price, guys. $18. That is right up my alley. And we can make something really good with this. And then I'll put all of the wood all around and it'll look like a canvas. So right now it is pouring rain. So not only, you know, was it hard to like drive it on the side, it is pouring rain and yeah, we made it. It's here. It is soaked, I'm soaked. But what matters is that we did it. We did it, yep.
so that is it i hope you enjoyed the wall art i hope you get inspired by it sometimes it's not necessarily doing exactly what i do but taking little things that i did with my wall art and tweaking it and making it your own that's my whole goal i want you to be inspired by the things that i do so i hope this inspired you to do a wall art or even it could be something that you want to revamp or it could be an accessory i hope you love the new jewelry it was a long process but i'm so happy to do a launch on the necklaces and so thank you all so much for watching thank you for your thumbs up thank you for your comments all of your beautiful messages I do read them. I try to go through them. I try to answer some of them. I'm going to keep on repeating and saying thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your messages and comments. It helps my channel in so many ways. I hope you guys are going to have an amazing week. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Next video, I'm thinking maybe since fall is right around the corner, I was thinking of doing like maybe sewing some pieces. So it's been a little while since I did a little sort of fashion, sew, DIY. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye guys. Bye.